Hi there, folks. Uh, my name is Nicholas Bernard Hansen, the creator of Johnny Butters American Narcissism, and we've come up with a uh, with a new little kind of idea within an idea, a kind of television show, three bipolar dudes, one camera, and it looks like it's just me right here right now, but there's actually three bipolar mm -hmm. dudes here in one <laughs> camera. <laughs> okay, then. okay, this is Benton. Uh, you might have uh, met Ben in the other segment. But uh, Andrew is uh, off camera. Off camera. So yeah, take a seat, Ben. And uh, I'm gonna get the light going. Uh, is Ben stuck there by himself right now? Classic <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, that light kind of bothers me. I have. I have hallucination problems. You guys have hallucination problems? I do. They're not really problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. So we filmed this segment earlier and we were all just sitting up tonight uh, and everyone else left and it was just three bipolar dudes and I was like, well, we have a camera. So I was like, why don't we film something? And here we are. It's a little late. Um, like I got it. Like let's talk about that. Like it's really hard to sleep as a person who's bipolar, who's kind of a little prone to, you know, sleeping. I hate going to sleep. I wish you didn't have to sleep. Uh, I feel sometimes like the little kid that never wants to go to sleep. Like right now, I just don't want to sleep, and I have this trazodone prescription for that'll make me sleep, but I don't like taking it. Like. Because I had a bad experience when I got out of the hospital of like, I was hallucinating so much and then I would take the stuff and then it would be like, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't like get up because I was so tired from it, but I couldn't sleep and I was hallucinating. So I couldn't like walk around and because I was like, felt like I'd fall over. It was terrible. It was, you know, but then since then it was working for a while and I've been sleeping really well, but like. I don't know, Friday night maybe. I just don't feel like going to sleep. Right. I'm getting tired. I'll be I'm actually yawning right now. I don't know, Ben, how do you feel about sleep? Oh man, it's a it's, it's a struggle. Cause like you said, I don't ever want to go to sleep. Ever? I mean not a lot well no no, in, in periods of like hypermania or mania. Which is where I'm, I'm at a little bit right now. Right. I'm hypomanic, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Are you hypomanic? I'm hypo, I'm hypo right now, yeah. Yeah, I'm hypo for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous, you got three hypos just hanging out. Well, better it. than three hypers, right? Hypers are the crazy, right? That's when. Well, man, it's like. Uh, I never remember hyper and hypo. I, we've got to get the manic depressive illness textbook. We totally do, especially yeah. if we're putting this out on the internet. We, yeah. have to, we have to know what we're saying. Actually, I, it's. It's on Google. Do it. Oh, is it? Because okay. I never understand a typo, because there's two of them. Typo, Here's typo. Google. Yeah. Uh, more uh, books. Is you know him? No, he's, okay. he's carousing. There's a textbook for man depression? Yeah. Cool. Well, are you talking about the DSM-4? Ah, the DSM-4. No, I'm talking about the manic illness. Oh. Uh, okay. By Kay Jameson? Yeah. Oh, I've heard that's great. Okay. I've read a lot of it. I had it for three weeks and then I had to give it back to the library. <laughs> yeah, this is it right here. Oh wow. Yeah, like it doesn't give you the whole thing, but we're in. We're <laughs> in guys. Okay. How do I get let's zoom a little bit. Zoom and then search for words. Search in this book. Yeah. Hypo. Mania. It's 80 bucks, it's <laughs> textbook. Page 93, oh, cool. diagnostic criteria. Medical treatment of hypomania mixed states. This is what we're looking for right here. Yeah. Okay, despite the availability of many effective pharmacological agents for treating mania and hypomania, the management of both states is often challenging. Unlike the depressed patient who usually seeks out treatment, the manic patient, and especially perhaps the hypomanic patient, often resists treatment. 
Moreover, the physician treating the first manic episode in a previously untreated patient must engage the patient's cooperation and treatment, simultaneously educate family and friends about the illness, and coordinate efforts with hospital staff and even law enforcement agencies. That's a lot of work. <laughs> in many ways, the pharmacological treatment of the manic patient, the main focus of this chapter, may be the easiest part of the clinical work performed by the physician. Yeah, easy for them. This chapter addresses hypomanic, manic, and mixed affective states. We're definitely in the right spot here. Yeah, well, we totally are. I guess there is no the latter usually characterized by a combination of dysphoric mood of depression and the pressured agitation of mania. The management of mixed states resembles that of mania much more than that of bipolar depression. Right. I'm going to skip around yeah, yeah, so good. Yeah. rather than just jump through. This section addresses the key aspects of clinical management of hypomania, mania, and mixed states. They're really repeating themselves no, here. Hypo, like okay, so evaluation of the goes, manic. It goes hypomanic and then it goes psychosis. Oh, so hypos. Hypos before psychosis. Okay, by. Oh, fuck. Shit, the camera. By definition, <coughs> how's our framing here? I'm always looking as a. Oh, yeah, we're framed pretty good here. Oh. I look like a lunatic with the yellow shades in the front, but Ben, you're maintaining stability there. And Andrew has <laughs> made his position as the off camera man, which is perfect. <laughs> okay, fine. by definition. The manic or mixed state patient is highly agitated and not easily amenable to examination. <laughs> That's a great line. By definition, the manic or mixed state patient is highly agitated and not easily amenable to examination. <laughs> That's perfect. It is critical, then, to obtain the patient's history from family, friends, coworkers, law enforcement officers, whoever may be available to give information about the course of illness and development of sy symptoms. I want to give a plug for the Minneapolis Police Department. Amen. Yeah. You like those guys? Yeah, I do. They've yeah. helped you out of some manic Absolutely. situations? They rock. Yeah, they treated me with respect. Yes. Okay, so in hospitalization. Patients exhibiting severe mania will need to be hospitalized often involuntarily. I got to get my milk. Yeah. Can I, can I take a break? Yeah, yeah take it. There's no rules. Uh, no. All right. There's no rules. Yeah. I might yeah, take a break is. too. You never say you're sorry. Oh yeah. That was a rule. <laughs> I need to smoke pretty quick, and we got to think about. Thank God. I got to sleep eventually. No, yeah. seriously, we do because we have. We got family coming into town. Yeah. There's all kinds of big things coming on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna call it a night, but we're gonna be examining this manic depressive because we got it for free. You could buy it for eighty bucks, or you could examine it on Google Books. Oh, it's a shameless pu plug for Google, Google, yeah. Google Books. Signing off, Andrew. Sign off. Thank you. Have a good night. Night, guys. Is it off? Oh, you're just a